All right, everyone. Uh, okay, so we're going to go ahead and I'm, I'm just going to do the lesson uh, in a slightly different way, but just I want to revisit um, the describing functions uh, menu lesson. So I have the first three slides here that we kind of used last class. So we talked about positive versus negative. Okay, we use the x-axis to determine when our function switches between positive and negative. So you can see here in, you know, I highlighted in red all the times where the function is negative or the intervals where it's negative and then when it is positive. I'm not worried about writing the intervals down right now. I'm going to do that in a future slide, just kind of showing a general synopsis here. Uh, so that's positive versus negative. Here we have increasing versus decreasing. Okay, and I'm actually going to just click between the two so you can just visually see the difference, right? So this one will cross over the x-axis when we're talking about increasing and decreasing. It's cut off at a different point. It changes when we are basically going up or down. So I mentioned that we should think of this as like kind of a roller coaster. Okay. Yes, this does look like it's going down right here where this arrow is, um, but we can't think of it that way. Okay. We have to think about if we are moving from left to right, like we read a book. Okay. We have this roller coaster going. And right now this would be increasing. We'd be going up that roller coaster where it's kind of like chug, 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 like picking this up. Okay. And then once we go and we get to the top of that hill, it's now decreasing until we get over here again and have to kind of pick us up again. All right. So think of that as increasing and decreasing. Uh, don't really use those arrows as a guide. Those arrows just tell you that this line is going to continue past our coordinate plane, in which case this is still increasing that whole time because we're moving from left to right. Over here for end behaviors, okay, um, we're always going to have this in, um, you know, that I have in blue, as x nears negative infinity, and we have as x nears positive infinity. We're always going to have that. The question is, what does the function do, go up or down, um, in those directions? So, as x nears is negative infinity, so basically as our function goes left, is the arrow pointing up or down? And our function in this case is going down. So we're saying that the y then is going towards negative infinity. Over here, as it nears our function nears positive infinity, basically as it goes to the right, what does the arrow do? Look at that, it's pointing upward. So this is gonna say that y is nearing positive infinity. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and write one thing up on the board while we're here. Basically what this is saying right here is that as our function is going to the left, the function is pointing down, negative infinity being down. Over here, it's saying that as x nears positive infinity, so as the function goes to the right, it is nearing uh, positive infinity, which means our function is going up, all right? So take note that the only thing that we're really looking at for end behaviors is the arrows, okay, the ending uh, portions. It does not matter what happens on the inside here, as that is what we use. Um, we use positive and negative and increasing and decreasing to talk about that. So for end behaviors, you're just looking at those ends. All right, let's go ahead and give it a try. I have three different functions here um, that we're going to go through and we're going to talk about the different behavior or the different, you know, um, descriptions for it. Now I'm going to do it slightly different than what we did in class. Not too, too much. Okay. In class, I said, I was doing like, oh, let's talk about all the intervals that are positive. Then all the intervals that are negative. Instead, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take us from left to right the whole way. I think that's going to help some of us with how we describe the domain. Okay. So let's give this a try. So let's talk first here. This is talking positive and negative of this function right here, right? Um, actually, you know what, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do this one after, um, just cause it's a little bit more tricky with all the different, um, you know, turns and things like that. Let's start here, okay? So again, we're gonna do positive um, as green and negative as red, all right? So here we go. If I'm looking from the left, right, I'm starting here. Now it doesn't really look like much is showing here, but this arrow is gonna keep on going up. So technically it does keep going to the left here, okay? Remember that positive and negative, the switch happens when we cross our x-axis, okay? So anything above this is considered positive, anything below it is considered negative. So up here, if I'm starting from my left, this whole section right here is gonna be positive. So I'm gonna go ahead and write, um, when x is, or I'm gonna say positive when, positive when x is less than well, let's see, this x value is one, so that's where it changes from positive to negative. So I'm gonna say basically all these values to the left are gonna be um, positive, higher than the x-axis. So when x is less than one, I'm gonna make that bold and I'm gonna make it green. There we go. All right, now we're gonna go down and, well, look right here. It switches from being positive down to negative for this short section right here. Notice that that happened from where we left off at one, okay? And it goes to two, three, it goes up to three. So we're gonna say, 
We're going to say negative. I'll switch this to red in a second. Negative when. And I'm going to say, well, it's between 1 and different spaces. Uh, between 1 and 3. Again, let's make that red. There we go. So, again, it's where we left off. We did everything less than 1 is going to be positive. So everything up to this point. Then from here to here, it's in the negative zone. And then after that, well, everything after that, it's going back to the positive, right? And that's going to be this whole section right here. And that's basically everything from where we left off at 3 and above. So, again, I'm going to go ahead and put in here uh, positive when, actually, I already had it green if I went down here, positive when x is greater than 3. Again, where we left off at 3, and it's going to go everything above it. All right, so let's go ahead and do the same thing now for, I'm going to remove these. And we're going to do the same thing for um, increasing versus decreasing. Okay, so for increasing, decreasing, we no longer have the x-axis as to when it switches, right? We're thinking left to right. So if I'm starting left to right, well, here I am, I start here, and well, if I'm a roller coaster, I'm going down first. So this is actually decreasing. Again, ignore the arrow there, just telling us that our line is continuing, okay? But if I'm going left to right, well, I'm going down this roller coaster. So this is going to be decreasing. Uh, i got to change that to text. One second. Decreasing from, well, when... Um, X is less than, well, right here is where the X is at when we switch over. So that's at 2. So when X is less than 2, I'll make that red. Then we're going to be increasing. I'll write this in a second. When X is greater than 2. Basically, again, this is the switch point. Let's change this to green, and then we'll do the color as well. Uh, draw it. Green. Yeah. There we go. This whole section is going to go ahead and be increasing. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's the only part where it switches from increase or decreasing to increasing. So there's only one change here. Uh, let me go ahead. I think for this portion, uh, the end behaviors, I'm going to go ahead and write it. All right. So I know that it's always going to be as X nears positive infinity and as X nears negative infinity. So as X nears positive infinity, well, that means as we're going to the right, or we're pointing up. So that's going to be y nears positive infinity as well. And then as x nears negative infinity, that's basically as our function is going to the left. Oh, look at that. We're also going up. So that, that would be y is going to positive infinity as well. Okay. So again, the y basically means are we going up or down? The x means as our function is going left or right. So that's done for that one. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at um, I'm going to switch to this one. I'm going to save this one for last just because if people don't want to get to it, we technically did it in class. Um, let's go ahead and talk about this one right here. So here, um, I think I think I'm okay. Let me, do, let me write this on the board instead of typing it. It might be go faster. All right, so here we go. Ready? Identify when it's positive or negative. So remember that right here, the x-axis, that is when we switch from being um, positive versus negative. Um, so right here, well, we go from left to right. We start out negative for this whole section, and the point where that happens is right here, which is 1. So I'm going to say negative when x is less than 1, and then it switches over to positive. So I'm going to say positive when x is greater than 1. All right, that's the switchover point. Um, notice that we don't include 1 um, because that's 0. Um, it's neither positive nor negative. All right, let's go ahead and move these. Oops, I didn't want to get rid of that. Let's just, uh, give me just a second. Let's erase this. Move this back. Move my blue line. I can't erase on top of my line or else it's going to erase the line itself. So, Okay, um, let's go ahead and do increasing and decreasing. So um, from left to right, this is only increasing. Okay, If we're on a roller coaster, we'd be climbing the whole way. Um, so this is um, increasing. Um, I'm going to say when X equals all real numbers, basically all real numbers is increasing. Uh, there is no decreasing in this function. Okay. It's only moving upward from left to right. So this is just increasing the whole way through. You don't have to write anything for the, um, for decreasing. 
And lastly, let's do our end behaviors. So again, we always will start with as x nears negative infinity. I usually start with negative infinity. I didn't on the last one. Um, and I'm also going to do as x nears positive infinity. Okay. So what is y doing? Let's see. So again, as we're nearing negative infinity, so to the left, as the function goes left, we are going down. You can see that arrow is pointing in the downward direction. So y is nearing negative infinity. And in this case, as we go to the right, so towards positive infinity for x, we're going up for y. So that's nearing positive infinity. Okay. All right, let's take a look at our last one. And we'll try to do it in a, you know, the, the order that we kind of did the, the previous one. Let me give myself a couple more spaces here so I can write the way I just did a second ago. All right, this one has a little bit more increasing and decreasing changing, so we'll need more room. All right, here we go. So this will be our last one to go over. If you feel comfortable with this one already, you're, you know, you're good to go. But we're going to do this one again from left to right this time, unlike how we did it in class. This might make it a little bit easier. So here we go. Um, again, here's our x-axis. That's where we switch from being positive to negative. So we start out in the negative direction. Okay. And that happens right here at negative four is where we, where we change over. So everything to the left of that. So I'm going to say negative when um, x is less than negative four. Then we switch over to positive for this section of one, two, three, four, five different um, x values. So that's from negative four, where we left off, to zero. Say positive when x is in between um, negative four and zero, negative four and zero. Um, then we go over to negative for this section right here. That's from where we left off at zero, um, all the way up to four. So negative when it's another compound inequality, zero is less than X, which is less than four. And then lastly, we're going positive here, uh, which is greater than four. So positive when x is greater than 4. And there you go. That's all of our um, positives and negatives. Again, using the x-axis to switch over. We get rid of these. All right. Let's go ahead and do um, increasing and decreasing. So we start out going up with this roller coaster. So we are increasing, again, ignoring this arrow that's just telling us our function is continuing on, but we'd be climbing the whole way. So this is um, up until this point, right? That is an increase. So I'm just going to do inc, like for increase. Um, when x is, let's see, that's less than, so here and on, that's a negative 2. So when x is less than negative 2. We're going to be doing a decrease now this whole time. So decrease when x is in between. Let's see our numbers. We're right here where we left off at negative 2, and we go all the way up to 1, 2. So negative 2 to 2, and then we go to an increase here for the remainder of it. And that's going to be from, again, where we left off at 2. So increase when x is greater than 2. So from 2 onward. Um, OK, that's the end of that one. Let's go ahead and just do our end behaviors, and then we're good to go. So again, we always start with as x nears negative infinity. And we're also going to do as x nears positive infinity. All right, cool. So as x nears negative infinity, that means as we're go looking to the left, our function goes down. So that's negative infinity for y. y goes to negative infinity. And then as we're going to the right, so that's positive infinity for x, we're going upwards. So that's going to be positive infinity for y. And there you go. So that's how you take care of these ones. Um, I'm hoping that maybe that'll be a little bit different and helpful than what we did in class. Um, it's just moving from left to right for the whole thing rather than just focusing, all right, what are my segments that are positive? What are my segments from negative? So hopefully that'll help break it down for you all. Um, so yeah, there you go.